Hello everybody and welcome to Ultimate Sporting News. I'm here for your recap for week 4 of the MLS season. DC United lost to Columbus Crew SC 3-1. The LA Galaxy and the Vancouver Whitecaps played to a sh shutout draw. Minnesota United FC Lost to the New York Red Bulls 3 to nothing. New York City FC and New England Revolution tied for a 2 2 draw. The Portland Timber and the FC Dallas played for a 1 1 draw. Sporting Kansas City and the Colorado Rapids played to a 2 2 draw. Alright, none of the good, the bad, and the ugly. Brady Wright Phillips had two goals versus Minnesota. Ismail Tajori Shradi had three goals in two games since NYFC's captain went out with an injury. Christine Martinez had two assists in the win for Columbus. Alex Well had a goal and an assist in the win against Minnesota. NYFC still undefeated. Columbus Crew SC. Is now in first place in the Eastern Conference. Portland Timbers earned their first point of the season. Roland Lamas three has three goals in three games this year for FC Dallas. Rapids earned their first point of the year. And Sporting Kansas City leads the MLS with nine goals scored so far this year. That is the good. Now to the bad and the ugly. Sporting Kansas City. Fitting how their offense is soaring, yet their defense is down this year. Sporting Kansas City defense has allowed nine goals in four games so far this year. Their defense was best a year ago, but now they're looking pretty bad. They allowed nine goals in their first three games in eight minutes this year, yet last year it took 13 games for them. To allow nine goals. The Colorado Rapids looked pretty bad. So they couldn't hold on to a 2 nothing lead. Game finished in a 2-2 two two draw. Liam Ridgewell was dropped from the 18-man roster. For the Portland Timbers versus FC Dallas game. And missed opportunities for Vancouver to pick up a win against... A depleted LA Galaxy team. That is the good, the bad, and the ugly this week for week four of the MLS season. So this Friday, we're going live. Yes. Well, we're going live tomorrow too, but Friday, we're also going live. That way you can see your soccer matchup within a live video this Friday. Don't forget to tune in, soccer fans. Tune in next week for a recap of week five for the MLS season.